Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today I'm going to be reviewing wigs for you that I found in my wig closet that I haven't reviewed yet, so stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started, just a few quick announcements. You'll notice the wigs behind me I have not reviewed yet. Those are all Beltress wigs. I just got them in. My sister Sharon and I are filming a review of those wigs, so that'll be out shortly. I'm also having the Beltress brand added to my website, frannyshair.com. And as always happens when I introduce a new brand, I will have a sale on it. So stay tuned for all of that. For those of you who have not joined Franny's Hair on Facebook yet, that's a private Facebook group where I announce special events and discounts ahead of time, and I will be posting special discounts just to that group. It's a great group of people. We have about 250 people there right now sharing photos of themselves in wigs, sharing advice, tips, asking questions. It's a lot of fun, so come join us. Finally, I just wanted to mention that these wigs that I reviewed today will end up on the open box reviewed section of my website. Open box reviewed wigs are wigs that I've reviewed. So I've opened them, I've combed through them, sometimes I've sprayed them with product, but they're basically still a new wig. So I sell those wigs at a discount. I always mark in the description exactly how the wig was used. In most cases, it's just for the review. Once in a while, I've worn the wig out. If the wig is a wig that was returned, I will tell you that as well. So make sure you check out the description underneath the wig so you know exactly what you're getting. Okay, so as I usually do for the review for the wigs, I'm gonna show you the wigs, tell you the color, tell you the features, show you the cap, take it outside, show you the color, try on the glasses, all the things we normally do so that you can get a good feel for the wigs. Now these wigs are, I think I have two different brands here. I have some Ellen Villa and I have some Tressalore. Most of them are short wigs. I think I only have one long wig, but since it's warmer weather, at least here, I figured it's a good time to show some shorter wigs. So let's start with this one. This one is Debbie by Ellen Villa and it's in the color Light Bernstein Rooted. And Light Bernstein Rooted is described as lightest brown and dark strawberry with light golden blonde blend and shaded roots. So you can see all of that in there, the highlights, the auburn, the brown. And the way Ellen Villa colors work is that you may see two different ways with the same name, like Light Bernstein Rooted, but they may look different. If you've seen me in Sunset, I would say Sunset also in light Bernstein rooted, looks lighter than this wig. So I have Ellen Villa's color philosophy over on my website in the blog section. You can check that out. But basically the way it's done is on your tag here, you'll see the colors that are in the recipe for this light Bernstein rooted. So in this case, it's 12, 27, 26. Now based on the style of the wig, they may mix those colors differently. The one thing that's similar to a recipe is that the first color is the one that there's the most of in the wig. And then the last color is the one that there's the least of. So you can tell which color they use the most. In this case, a 12, which is the lightest brown, is the one that's used most. And I'll take it outside so you can see it. This is a basic synthetic wig. It's not heat friendly and it's also a basic cap. The bangs are three inches. And just for reference, my face from forehead to chin is eight and a half inches. So that'll just give you a reference point. My circumference is 21 and a half inches. This fits me pretty snugly. It's a petite average, which is really Ellen Villa's biggest category. It's more their average category. But I will tell you that this fits me very nicely. No extra room and I do have a 21 and a half inch circumference. Ellen Villa does have other sizes. She makes large wigs, petite wigs, ultra petite wigs. So if you're looking for a brand that carries different sizes, 
she could be a good brand for you. I don't think that this wig would fit somebody with a large head. It's hard for me to say for sure because I don't have a large head, but I try to give you the most information possible. So she's fitting me very well. She has a three inch bang, a four inch crown. Her sides are two inches and the nape is one and a half inches. And she weighs just 2.2 ounces. So she's a great lightweight wig for the summer that you can just throw on and go. Let me spin for you. Now, I'm going to just tell you the regular price, but oftentimes you can go to my website and get items on sale or use a discount code. So this is just the regular price that I sell her for. She's normally $234.29. I sell her for $211.89. Okay, let's put on the glasses. Um, underneath the ear tabs, I do feel it a little bit. Over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. I would wear the glasses over the ear tabs. Okay, so let's go take a look at this color outside. Nice day out today. So you can see the colors here. The lightest brown, the strawberry, the blonde, you can see it all in here. Okay, and if I didn't mention, she's not heat friendly. She's a basic synthetic wig. Let's take a look at the cap. Okay, so she has no lace front, just basic up here. Probably some permatease in here. She has a mono crown, so you can get the illusion of scalp right at the root there. The nice velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, extended nape also in that nice velvety material, and the Velcro adjustable straps. Now she's adjusted pretty far in, so let me take a look. If I put her at the edges and see what she feels like. Yeah, with it, with it adjusted out, it definitely is larger. I could definitely see this fitting petite to average heads. I still don't know about a large head. All right, let's go on to the next one. This next one is also by Ellen Villa. She's called French and she's in the color Hot Cocoa Mix. Hot Cocoa Mix is described as dark strawberry blonde, medium brown with light auburn and dark auburn blend with shaded roots. So here you go see the colors there. She's a cute little bob with a bang here, side bang. She is a regular synthetic wig. She's not heat friendly, also in the size petite average, and she fits me just fine. Again, 21 and a half inch circumference. Her front is five inches. That makes sense with me being eight and a half here. Her crown is nine inches. Her sides are six inches, her nape two inches, and she weighs just two and a half ounces. So I'm gonna spin for you so you can see the style. And you can wear the bang down. I would probably need to trim them a little bit because they're a little bit long for me. Or you can kind of push them to the side. Wear it behind your ear, really cute. Like that. Now she has a front lace, which I'll show you when I show you the cap, and a side mono part. And the mono part is fairly wide, so you can part anywhere within that monofilament. Okay, let's try the glasses on. I have a feeling I'm gonna be saying this on all of these. Um, underneath the ear tabs, definitely snug. Over the ear tabs, no problem at all. All right, let's take this color outside and look at it. Okay, here you go. So you can definitely see the auburns in there.
And before I forget, her suggested retail price is $415. I sell her regularly for $373.67. So let's take a look at her cat. And you can tell right there by the price that this is gonna have more features than the last one. So here you go here, you have the lace front from ear tab to ear tab and that wide mono part that I was talking about. So you can part your hair anywhere within here. There may be a little permatease in here, I can't tell right here. The ear tabs, that beautiful velvety material with the metal stays, extended nape with the velvety material, Velcro adjusters, which are my favorite, you guys know, the open wefting. And there she is, pretty color. All right, on to the next. Okay, this next wig is by Tresselor and it's actually been discontinued. This was called the Soft Wave Bob. The new version is called Excite. So you can look up Excite if you're interested in this style. This will go up in the open box reviewed wigs at a discount because it's been open box and also because it's been discontinued. The color of this one is 24102R12 and that's described as golden blonde highlighted, platinum rooted and light golden brown. So you can see all those, the platinum in there, the golden blonde in there. And this is a great color, a more neutral color that can fit different skin tones because it does have the cooler and the warmer tones in it. So I'm gonna spin for you and I will give you the measurements. It's a cute shaggy style. This has a full mono top and a lace front. So, and it's heat friendly. So it's loaded with features. And Excite normally sells for $4.49 because she does have all of those features. Now let me give you the measurements. The length of the hair, it says is three to five and a half inches. The fringe is four inches. So I'm not sure what they're considering the fringe. Maybe this front part here. The crown is five inches and the nape is four inches. And she weighs just 2.4 ounces, so she's light. And because she's heat friendly, she's not real shiny. You can see the heat friendly fibers look more natural. They don't look as shiny. Now in the longer heat friendly fiber wigs, you run into the issue of it tangling more easily and being more fragile. And the way to keep a heat friendly wig looking nice is as soon as you see anything happening to it, any little frizzies, take some heat to it. So, but this is short, it's not gonna get tangled on anything, really nice style. And you can really, you know, play with this, put it behind your ear, it's a, an adorable style. I really like this. Okay, so let's try it on with the glasses. Now, Tressalore, all their wigs are average size and their average size in most cases can go up to a 23 inch circumference. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and this is fitting me just fine, but you can adjust it larger. All right, so let me put the glasses on. Underneath, I definitely feel. Over top, the ear tabs is the way to go, I think, with glasses. All right, so let's take her outside. We'll look at the color and then we'll come back and look at the cat. Okay, so here you can see definitely the cooler platinum blonde, the more golden blonde, and you can see in there the brown gives it a little bit of depth. Such a cute style. All right, so let's take a look at her cap. Like I said, she has every feature. So you have the full monofilament top here. You can part it anywhere within there. The extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, open wefting to keep it cool. The velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. The extended velvety nape, Velcro adjusters. Beautiful wig. Okay, on to the next. All right, this next wig is called Aria, and I actually have her in two colors to show you. This one is velvet cream. She is not heat friendly, and she's a basic cap, and she's being discontinued. So she sells for only $76.30 right now. Once the colors sell out, that's it. I try to keep the colors updated on my website based on their inventory list. 
So check it out if you're interested. I would get over there and look at the colors and see if there's anything that you would like. Adorable short style. The fringe is 5.25 inches. The crown, 5.25 inches. The nape, three and a half inches. And she weighs just 2.6 ounces. And again, I would probably just put her behind my ears like this. How adorable is this style? I'm second guessing putting this in the open box section. I might wanna keep her, but anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the wig. Um, I'm going to try on the glasses. Now I don't have descriptions for these colors. Uh, I just am given the color and I actually have swatches that I can show you, so I'll do that. Underneath the ear tabs, too tight. Over the ear tabs, totally fine. Um, let me pull the swatch for this wig. And I am planning on filming today a whole thing on colors and showing you swatches of each color. So um, that should be up very shortly. Let me find this one, Velvet Cream. Okay, so here's the swatch of the Velvet Cream. So you can see here, it looks like there's a dark blonde and a cool blonde together. And you can see that in this color. Really pretty. Okay, let's take her outside so I can show her to you. Okay, so here she is. You can see the colors here, the cooler tones and the golden. This is the first time I've seen this color in person and I really like it. Okay, let's take a look at her cap. All right, so she has a basic cap. Permatease here, I will show you the part. Open wefting. She has the lace ear tabs, so it's not the velvety ear tabs. You guys know lace is not my favorite, although she didn't feel itchy on me. The lace extended nape and the bra strap type closures. Now let's look at her permatease. I always like to do that. So there you go. Looks pretty good. The worst is when it looks like a rat's nest up there. Just want you to look closely there. You might be able to see a little bit of it there, but overall, I think it looks really good. Okay, on to the next. And by next, I mean the same way, Aria, but in Cola Swirl. So here you go, you can see Cola Swirl. And let me see if I pull the color swatch. You can see there that it has some blonde in it, some, I don't know if that's a an auburn type color or a lighter brown, I can't really tell, and then a darker brown. So you have all of those colors and you can see them in here. Really pretty. Again, the same style, I'm gonna just spin for you. Same measurements, same price. <laughs> And I like, you could have the bangs down, you could trim them a little, you can make them wispy. Got nice body here. You do have the permanentees up top that gives it the shape. I'm gonna try the glasses on. I don't expect anything different from the last one. Same thing, too tight under the tabs, perfect over the tabs. Let's go take a look at the color. Okay, so here you go. You can see all those colors in there, really pretty. Such an easy, just throw on and go style. Shaggy, with all the layers, the bangs, adorable. All right, let's take a look at her cap. Should be the same as the other one. Basic cap, permatease in the front, open wefting, the lace ear tabs with the metal stays, extended lace nape, and the bra strap closures. Let's look at the permatees on this one. There you go. So you can see there, looks really good. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this next one also by Tressalore, also discontinued, also basic cap, 
and not heat friendly and also selling for $76.30 until it sells out. This is Brianna in the color English Tea Highlighted. Is that right? Yes, English Tea Highlighted. I'm gonna show you the swatch here. Get these other ones out of the way. English Tea Highlighted, so you can see here. Looks like there's a dark blonde and then two different shades of brunette there. And you can see that in here. She's like a spiky, shaggy kind of look. Her fringe is 3.25 inches. Her crown, 4.25 inches. The nape, 2.6 inches. And she weighs just 2.4 ounces. And you really don't have to do anything to her. Just stick her on your head. <laughs> I, again, probably would just wear her behind my ears for a little styling, but that's about it. Let me try the glasses on. Under the ear tabs, I definitely feel. Over the ear tabs, fine. Cap size, by the way, on the Arias and on this one, they fit me perfectly fine. 21 and a half inch circumference again. And I would say they should fit an average size head. Let me take her outside. We'll look at the color. We'll come back in. We'll look at the cap and we'll also see where the adjusters are and how much room there is to adjust to go bigger. Okay, here's English tea highlighted. I think this is the first wig I've tried on in this color. I really like this color too. I'm trying to get all the colors to show you. So even if you don't like it in this particular wig, you'll have an idea of what it looks like. Another cute style. All right, so let's look at her cap. Basic cap, permatees, open wefting. Got the lace ear tabs with the hair spliced in there. A regular nape, which is velvety. Hmm, it's not lace, it's a velvety one. And the um, bra strap adjusters and you see there not much room to adjust there so I'm going to say this is not going to fit a large head this one because it did fit me quite nicely all right so let's look at the permatease at the top of this there you go you can't really see it because of all the spikiness of the hair all right on to the next okay so this is the last wig this is Chanel and she's in the color sheer plum Chanel is also a discontinued wig and she has a few colors left. I think about three or four colors left. Because she's discontinued and she's a final sale, she's $125 and she has a full mono top. And I will show you that when I show you her cap. All right, so obviously Chanel is a long wig, different from all the others, a lot of hair, nice layers around the face. And she's in the color Sheer Plum. Let me show you Sheer Plum here. So you can see here, the Sheer Plum has the auburn and the brown in it. And it is like a reddy, uh, plummy kind of color. Pretty color. Her front is 8.25 inches. Actually seems a little bit longer to me, given that my face is eight and a half. Her crown, 15 inches. Her nape, 14.75 inches. A lot of hair. And she weighs 4.8 ounces. So for her, you know, I could definitely put her up. You know, maybe pull it back in a uh, little barrette or something like that. Or, you know, put her all the way up. You guys know I'm not the best at styling, but there's plenty of hair to wear in a ponytail, to put up in a French twist, all kinds of stuff. Okay, let me put the glasses on for you. Feel it under the ear tabs and not over. So that's good. I'm gonna take her out, show you the color, then we'll look at the cap. Okay, so here's the color Sheer Plum. And remember, even if you don't like this wig, you might like this color for a different wig. And she is not heat friendly. I forgot to mention that. All 
And she does not have a lace front, even though she has a full mono part. So you can see the part there. It gives the illusion of scalp, and you can part it anywhere you like. Okay, let's look at her cap. Okay, you can see here that she has the full mono top. And so you can part her anywhere within there. The open wefting. She has the lace ear tabs and not an extended nape, but it is velvety and the bra strap closures. And I really don't see any permatease on her. So there you go. And you can part her anywhere. You can see my hand through there. All right, so I'm finishing this off wearing my favorite wig from this session. I had not tried on Aria before and I absolutely love her. If you do want her in this color, there are four left still in inventory according to Friday's inventory sheet from Tressalore. So um, if you want her, get over there and get her now. Okay, so if you have any questions at all about any of these wigs, feel free to email me at my email address, franniesHair at gmail.com. You can contact me through my website, franniesHair.com, and you can also contact me in our private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.